Welcome back to another episode. That was a little aggressive. A little aggressive dog. Welcome back to another episode here. For me and Daisy dominate the house. Hey, look at the camera. Daisy, where's the camera? Daisy, where's the camera? Anyway, that's Daisy. Really? <laughs> she do she does not want to be on camera right now. So we're gonna leave her be and we're gonna get into the video right now. Bit of an awkward start to the video, I know, but I promise it's gonna be good because we're taking a look at our old American classic. This is an air gun I re I didn't recently use. I used last year in uh, our backyard squirrel hunt. You know, check it out. Make or if you wanna see what that was like and how fun that was, you wanna go check that out below. But the reason I'm bringing this back out today cause, is because uh, it's January and I would like to go use it. But I figured this year I might do a little online shopping, which I never do, by the way, and get a bunch of stuff and modifications to it. It's going to be fun. Not really an unboxing. I've already opened them just to see what they were because I was a little impatient, but I'm going to act surprised. Oh my golly, it's a scope mount. Yes, sir. Scope mount. Piece number two. Oh my gosh, it's the actual scope. No way. It, oh, oh. Why it's in a dog package? I, I, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I wonder what I wonder what this is. Oh no way, no way. It's the actual. No way. It's a stock. Yes. Nice. I think I'm gonna start with this first. Feels solid. Flat. It's like a. What's this made of? I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, we got quite a few mods to the air gun. Uh, for now though, I think the easiest portion would be the stock. So let's, let's, let's get started on that sucker first. So, Lucky Lucy, of course, we all know that, I hope. Most of us know that. But the reason why I love this gun is because of its um, ease in customizing, you know? It's very easy to customize. So yeah, we're gonna hold on to those for future purposes, but other than that, we're just gonna stick the stock. Oh, there we go. Yes, sir, like a glove. All right. And just like that, the stock is done. Now this is for more stability purposes, but I mean, that's that's pretty good. Um, Yeah, we're gonna need that scope though, because the sight's a bit off kilter, but yeah. We just, uh, it went from a pistol to a rifle just like that. So well, here we go. Um, yeah, this is where it gets tricky. Um, yeah, that was the easy, easiest portion of this construction process. So obviously, because it didn't come with any instructions whatsoever. Yeah, we'll get the scope and the scope mount on, and uh, I don't know. We'll we'll pick up from there. Well, um, I think I got something going here. Got everything set up. You know, got the the rail and the side on. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, still fires. That was what I was really worried about was I was gonna put the breach on wrong or whatever. But no, it's a uh, it looks all right. Nope. And I just gotta figure out how to set up the site because uh, I'm not sure how to do that. But let's find out. Hi, my name's Jake, and I'm an idiot. Look at this. That sucker is backwards. Don't be like me. This is not a how-to video. Wow. So that that is what's wrong with the thing. It's backwards. So, yeah, I'm going to fix that real quick, and then we'll get back to you. Just a second. Oh, my gosh. That is so much better. Oh, my gosh. I'm an idiot. So, yeah, that is my red dot sight, and it looks so much better. I... Still don't, not 100% uh, sure if I mounted it right, but we're just going to assume I did because um, I can see a whole lot better now, and yeah, that makes much more sense. So yeah, we'll go shoot here in a little bit, and yeah, we'll see y'all then. So we out here, everything's still frozen, everything's still wet, especially David's, or er, David, what's his name? Daisy's turds. So, but we got the target set up. Going for a bigger target today because I don't want to risk anything with the with the new scope, I don't know how off it is. So yeah, I gotta find a way to prop this up and we'll get back to you. Janky shooting set up here, but I'm not gonna walk in front. 
got the ladder, got about shoulder height, and yeah, we're on a, we're on the pillow, yeah, basically. So we're about shooting a little over shooting distance, about 15 yards. So yeah, I'm just gonna prop y'all up and let's see what happens. Okay, she's a little low, so I'm gonna adjust her up just a bit. Okay, let's try that. Closer. A little bit up to the right. Okay, good shot put. A little off to the right. So I guess I'll adjust it to the right a bit. Windage is pretty much spot on. Or not windage, elevation. Elevation is the word I'm looking for. I didn't even see who that was. I have to go check that out. Low and left. So, yeah, night. I don't know, that's odd. Oh, that was really good. Ooh, yeah, I like that. A little low, but I mean, it's pretty good grouping. Let's go check out this grouping. I mean, I was aiming like dead center of this paper. It's a little low, but this hole got hit three times. It's got hit twice, and that was the second to last shot. That's my closest one to where I was aiming. Um, shoot a couple more rounds and see if I can make some more adjustments. Okay, so after quite a few shots, I'm aiming right at this you know the horizon line and actually got a little I got a little gust of wind up here but this was my very last shot that's too perfect so I mean that's a dead bird for sure so but to be safe I might aim a little bit higher when we actually go hunting with this thing just to make up for all this so rather than that I think she's good and ready to rock and roll so yes sir <laughs> flying near the bush that I would like to be hunting out of but I can't because they keep going to the bush so figured why not why not see if I can get a few Our 10 minute sit outside, that was pretty eventful. Had a couple birds come into the bush. Unfortunately, this thing's tail was in the way. Aren't you? Your little tail was in the way. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm glad I didn't take the shot. But it was just a young male. And he kept coming back. He was in the tree for a little bit. But, you know. One of the adjustments we're gonna make is turning a light on. And then, yeah, leaving her in. We're leaving that dog in. And make yourself at home. Why don't you? And so we're going to do that and uh, we're going to get a bird call because they're responding really well. I don't know if y'all heard me. Just got to make a... Really? Are you serious? Hey. Hey. Really? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Hey. Are you serious right now? Hey. Quit that. Hey. Quit that. Hey. Drop. Drop. Daisy. Daisy, I need you to drop. Daisy, this is not a toy. Can you drop, please? Please? Drop. Drop. Good girl. Thank you. Take a seat for a second. Help us with this, uh, you know, tell them what, they're what we're doing to these sparrows. I'm getting the sleep out of here. Right? You chill out. You chill out, pup. So we're going to get the call. That's what I've been trying to say. We're getting the identifier and uh, getting that out there. And then we're leaving you inside because you're paying the butt. <laughs> Literally, I almost shot you in the tail. So we're going to do that. And, uh, oh, a seat. We need a, some sort of room seat. Hi. Favorite dog right here. Okay, why does your nose smell like power bait? Hold up. Your nose smells like power bait. Have you been in my bait? So some sort of a cushion. Probably just a pillow, and the call, 
I'm really mean this inside. Yeah, I'm gonna go back outside. Hey, I'm, hey. I'm gonna go back outside. Are you okay by yourself? Okay, I know. Do you want to lay down and take a nap? A nap sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Does a nap sound like a great idea? I'm gonna go outside, okay? So you need to stay right here, okay? I love you. Yeah, I do. All right, so here's number one for the day. Nice little female, beautiful shot. Somewhere, well, there's the exit wound, so that was somewhere in the shoulder region. But yeah, beautiful, good little bird. Everything pretty much went according to plan. Bat chocolate was perfect, he was right beneath the bush. Popped up just enough to try and get a good shot on him. Or it's a her, Never mind. So yeah, that's a female uh, house sparrow because they don't have that little black cap. And it uh, looks like it was from this year because she's, she's still got a little bit of yellow. But that explains why she was a little vulnerable. But yeah, beautiful little specimen. So what I usually do with these, and uh, what I'm doing pretty much from the most part out of the winter, is I'm saving these up for the summer because we got a little challenge in the summertime that I want to show y'all. It's kind of cool. No one else in YouTube, I don't think, has done it before. So, yeah, we're gonna get him basically um, get him breasted out like a dove. Just rip all the feathers off, and yeah, you're Gucci. So, we're gonna put them in the freezer, save them up for summer, and then uh, yeah, summer day we'll get some more. They were really thick today, so uh, I don't know. I'm real pleased with that. That was a little TLC and some cleaning. It's basically what we're looking for. Basically the breastbone of the bird. Or not the breastbone, but like, you know what I mean, the breast. So, you want to close this video out with the boys? Well, do you? Or are you going to keep looking at the stuff on my desk? Mm. Why? <laughs> You're not getting my stuff on my desk. I have my gloves and my hat on my desk. Of course she wants to, she wants to play with them. That's her, that's her toys. So, I want to thank you again for watching. Beautiful day, or, I don't know, it, uh, it, well, it could have been warmer, but, um, yeah, we're not going to complain about the weather because we killed something, and that's always a win. Hey, really? Why do you want the stuff on my desk? That's, that's pretty much the modifications I made to the American Classic. Awesome gun, my favorite air rifle, the, or, it's an air rifle now. I can call it an air rifle, uh, officially, yeah, so, but it's a good air pistol to hunt with, so. Obviously, we just proved the point today. So, great job breaking it in. Everything works great. What are we doing next? I don't know. We'll either be running or fishing. Maybe hunting again. I don't know. Um, next week, we're still at home. So, next week is actually our last week uh, out of school. So, yeah, we will, or we, I will crank out some videos uh, for you sometime next week. Uh, hopefully, we get it running. Hopefully, we go fishing. Hopefully you go hunting. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll see you next time.